Hello, my name's Sam and welcome back to Skooky Reviews. Today I'm going to be talking about Forest of a Thousand Lanterns by Julie C. Deo. This is a young adult fantasy book inspired by Chinese mythology, which is one of my favourite things. Put that. I read this book last year but I wanted to talk about it because I really enjoyed it. It's one of those books that kind of stuck with me as well. It was a book that I hadn't heard of when I picked it up but I don't know how it's going. I don't know. This is a dark reimagining of the evil queen from Snow White. The main character is an anti-hero. This is her villain origin story. Ooh. Shi Feng is destined to be empress but only if she lets the darkness guide her. She starts off as a peasant, a beautiful peasant, but her aunt has big dreams for Shi Feng and she reads a prophecy in some cards and tells Shi Feng that she will be empress but only if she lets the darkness take over, sort of. Shi Feng sets off with her childhood sweetheart who might be a distraction on her journey to becoming empress. I think the book overall kind of reflects just how hard Shi Feng tries to get to where she wants to be. Throughout the whole thing there was this tension and it just made for a really good read. I really loved Shi Feng's character. She's strong, ambitious and isn't afraid to do what she's gotta do to get what she wants. Another strength for this book I found was the writing. I'm not really one to get along with lyrical writing. Flowery prose can just sod off to be honest. But this has lyrical writing and it even has poetry in it. But I just connected with it, I just understood it. It's not just there to make you go, ooh that sounds nice. It, it really does pack a punch. So I guess what I'm saying is I understood the poetry. <laughs> Oh, and I love how Shi Feng was just shaped by her choices over time. You can see the change in who she is from beginning to end. You can feel her journey when you're reading it. You experience the sacrifices with her, so when she gets closer and closer to her goal, or maybe if there's a side goal, you know, no, no spoilers. <laughs> but anyway, you can just really feel it. I wouldn't have always done the things that Shi Feng would have done, but I, I quite like that. I understood why she made the decisions that she did, um, but they were very different ones uh, from what I would have made. I read this book last year but I wanted to talk about it in a video. It's just a book that I would recommend and that's what I'm doing. I'm giving it five stars and I'm really recommending it. It's one of my favourites. It stuck with me long after I finished reading it. I have seen mixed reviews for this book and I totally get it. You know, not every book is for everyone. Some people have called it dull or slow. I just think it's just a very gradual pace. If you need that gut-wrenching plot twist then you might not necessarily get it. Not to say that there aren't twists in this book, it's just that it's not all building to that one like punch in the face. It really just pulled me in and held me at the same level of interest throughout. Other people have said that Shi Feng's an unlikable character. Well she's a villain, she's, she's not trying to be likeable, that's not really the point of the book. But that said, if you need your main character to be super likeable then you might not get along with this book. Although that said again, I really liked her. I found her just more honest and relatable than some of the goody two-shoe characters. Well, I don't know what that says about me. I liked her. I think she had guts. Pun now intended. Okay, so thanks for joining me and I will see you in the next one. Got a good rhythm going now, they're coming out on Wednesday.